Does the five second rule hold up? Is there any truth to it? Meaning, if you drop a piece of food on the floor, if you pick it up within five seconds, is it safe to eat? Uh, that's kind of what the five second rule implies. And I have to be honest, even though I'm a physician, I have been known to cite the five second rule. I've also been known to say things like, uh, God made dirt and dirt don't hurt. Uh, so there's that. But let's break it down. Is the five second rule really something you can live by? I'm Dr. Jen. It's good to see you. Okay few things that we need to keep in mind. These are some truths that simply exist. Number one, bacteria, viruses, bugs, germs are everywhere. Number one, we have to keep that in mind. Number two, the amount of bugs, germs, viruses, etc., on surfaces is going to depend on a number of different factors. Some surfaces are going to have lots of bugs and germs and some of them will not. But number three, pretty much as soon as you drop a food stuff particle, etc., on the floor, there's going to be some bugs, germs, viruses, or something that gets on it. It's just going to happen, quite likely, because of just, well, how the world works and how many bugs and germs there are. The question, though, is, will your food particle get enough bugs and germs on it within five seconds that it would actually make you sick? Or in other words, uh, is the food, the five second rule, does that actually hold up? That if you get it within five seconds, it won't make you sick. That's the question we are trying to ask. Okay, so let's answer it. To answer it, we also need to take into consideration a few other things, all right? Number one, I do believe it's going to depend on where you drop your food. The environment. Okay, take this as an example. If you drop a piece of food on your kitchen floor in your home versus if you drop the piece of food in, say, a gas station bathroom floor, does that like conjure up bleh, or say a hospital wards floor? You see what I'm trying to say? Those are very, very different environments. And we certainly would hope that the bugs that you have in your house are not the same ones as ones that we might be able to find on a gas station bathroom floor or even a hospital floor. Hospital floor, I say that not only just because people are sick, right, but because it's a place where we treat lots of bugs. And not only that, sometimes the bugs that we have in hospital and hospitals are particularly tough to treat. You can have drug resistant bugs, viruses, bacteria, etc., that are not easily treated uh, uh, by routine medications that we have. Right. So the level of bug, right, the type of bug very well may be different based on the environment. So I think, yes, well, yes, meaning yes, where you drop the food the environment is likely going to impact whether that five second rule could be true or not. Another thing, uh, the type of floor that you drop your food on. This is based on uh, some studies that have been done. Uh, so there's been studies that have suggested that carpet may be a safer type of flooring to drop food on as opposed to tile or perhaps other types of floors mm -hmm. for very different reasons. Okay. But my point being here is that the type of floor that you drop the food on very likely is going to weigh in to how safe the five second rule is, if it's safe at all. Okay. All right. Number three, uh, I talked about this a little bit in the intro is how many germs are on the surface, right? Okay. So um, I, I, I was going to say this a little bit later, but I'll say it now. A surface that looks clean it's not necessarily clean. Like remember there are bugs and germs and stuff everywhere. Just because something looks clean doesn't mean it is. But something that is visibly soiled or that you know has come in contact with schmutz or whatever may have a higher risk than something that you know has not come in contact with that same schmutz. You know what I mean? Like uh, how many germs the this, this surface might potentially have. Although again, tough to estimate because clean surfaces aren't always clean. Okay. Uh, the next uh, variable to consider would be the texture of the food. This is also this comment is based on some studies that I, I saw uh, online that uh, perhaps wet moist foods may take in or uh, sort of uh, catch or accumulate more germs than say hard foods. Okay. So something that's wet, maybe moist, etc., may be different than something that's like a pretzel or something that's hard, right? In terms of attracting or um, picking up bugs, all right? That's something to, to consider. And then of course, how long a substance or a piece of food is actually down. Now, obviously in this video, we are talking about the five second rule, but presumably something that's down for four seconds 
would potentially theoretically have more germs than something that was down for one second, right? All of these things very likely play a role into whether the five second rule is really the five second rule. Whether you can drop a piece of food on the floor and still pick it up, feeling like you're pretty much safe in the clear, you won't get foodborne illness, you won't get food poisoning, things like that, okay? So now what do I say? Well, I say that we do know that germs are everywhere. We do know that if you drop your food, it's going to pick up some things. Okay, what you what you pick up? Well, that depends on all the things I mentioned, and how much it depends on all the things I mentioned. Um, and and what I would say is, to be honest with you, it's better to be safe than sorry. Why? Because we don't know what germs you're picking up. Some germs are more virulent or more dangerous than other germs. Also, I don't know who you are. If you have a weakened immune system, if you're on um, immunocompromising uh, medications, certain medications that might make your immune system weaker or have certain underlying conditions, you know, something that doesn't affect me might very well affect you quite severely. And there are plenty of other variables in this realm as well. So that's why I say, um, let's let's not do the five second rule, okay? Let's just stick to, if it drops, throw it out. I mean, maybe washing something off, if you're able to wash it off, may help. But once again, my job, or at least my mission, is to keep you as safe as possible. And I would say, hey, it's gonna be best not to eat something that you dropped on the floor, okay? I want you to weigh in though and let me know. What do you do? Do you pay attention to the five second rule? Do you not? Have you had a bad experience with it? Do you have any advice, guidance? I'm curious, write it in the comments because often what you say helps other people. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. I do daily videos. Please like and follow my page. Please subscribe, that's on Facebook. Book, by the way, please subscribe to my channel on uh, YouTube, uh, please, um, and click the little bell for updates. I also have subscription groups on both YouTube and uh, Facebook, so I would love it if you follow me there. Also, um, I, I'm on TikTok and Instagram, WhatsApp, etc. at Dr. Jen Caudle. And please go to my website, sign up for my uh, weekly health newsletter. It's free. Go to www.drjencaudle.com. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of this video and share it with someone else. All right, guys. Bye.